In this video, we're going to look at more examples of solving equations with logarithms. This video really isn't going to cover um, new concepts, but it's just designed to be additional examples to help you with the concept that we're working with. So if you're having trouble with some of the problems from today's practice, this should help you a little bit, and this will also help you for what we're going to do tomorrow. Right? Um, these, these problems just take a little bit of time to get used to, right? and, and the more practice you do, the better you'll get. All right, so let's go ahead and solve these equations. All right, and what I want you to see is, is that I think most of you are fine with the easy ones, simpler ones, but don't get distracted or, or, or um, confused when it gets a little bit more complicated, right? It's just going to be a, a, a variation on the basic same idea of what we have for something like this. All right, so let's take a look at what we got here. 5 to some power x equals 178, right? So what we're missing is the exponent to which we need to raise 5 to to get 178, right? That language should be familiar to you, right? We're looking for the exponent that we need to raise our 5 to to get 178, right? That's <coughs> the very definition of what a logarithm is, right? So our, our exponent, x, that's got to be equal to our logarithm, right, that we raise our, uh, for our base of 5 of 178. Right, so I know this logarithm has to be equal to x because that x is the exponent. Right, it's the exponent that I need to raise my base of 5 to to get 178. Right, and then we're just going to, once we get this answer, right, we can put this into our calculator. Right, so in the calculator we would do x equals, uh, we would do log base 10 of 178 divided by log base 10 of 5. Right? And when you do that in your calculator, you should get 3.22. Alright, so let's, let's look a little bit more complicated one. Okay, but it's, again, don't get confused by this. It's still going to be the same basic principle. Okay, so um, we know that since we're, we don't know something about this exponent, right, that we're going to need a logarithm. Okay, so, and our logarithm has got to be equal to our exponent. In this case, our exponent is this whole thing, this x minus 2. So that x minus 2 has to be equal to the logarithm. Right? x minus 2 is the exponent that I raise my base of 4 to to get 19. Right? So x minus 2 would be equal to log base 4 of 19. Right? And then here, to get x by itself, I'm going to add 2 to both sides. And again, let's be clear here. This does not, this doesn't, we don't do 19 plus 2 is 21, right? Because this is inside the log, right? So our answer would be this. X is equal to log base 4 of 19 plus 2, right? And when you enter that into your calculator to get your, your estimated answer, right, we would do this. Log base 10 of 19 divided by log base 10 of 4, and then add 2 to all of that. All right, so you can practice that on your calculator, but when you do that on your calculator, you should get 4.12. All right, um, now I'd like you to do this one on your own. Okay, so one tip here is we got this plus 5 and this 3 here that make it a little more complicated. So first, let's think about how to undo those, right? How could we isolate this 7 to the x power, right? And once you isolate that 7 to the x, you should be able to figure this out. So go ahead and pause and, and go ahead and solve this. All right, let's see how you did. Um, let's, what I would do is I would first subtract 5 from both sides, right? Once I do that, I get 3 times 7 to the x power equals 30, all right, and now I still have this 3 here. So what I would do here is I would divide both sides by 3, which gets me 7 to the x power is equal to 10. All right, and now this, is, is, this is, should be easy, right? What's missing? Our exponent that I need to raise my 7 to to get 10, right? That's the very definition of what a logarithm is. So our x is going to be equal to log base 10, I'm sorry, log base 7 of 10. I said that backwards. Okay? And then you should know 
by now how to plug that into your calculator and you should get 1.18 for that. Alright, here's another one I would like you to do on your own. So go ahead and pause and do this one, please. Alright, now that you've done this, let's check how you did. Alright, first thing I would do would be to add 3 to both sides. So now I have 5 to the 2x power is equal to 95. All right, so now I'm ready to, to write a logarithm equation here, right? This 2x here, that's my exponent. This is the exponent that I raise my 5 to, my base of 5, to get this, right? So that exponent, 2x, has to be equal to the logarithm, all right? So the logarithm, log base 5 of 95, all right? And then one last step. To get this, I need to divide both, to get x by itself, I would need to divide both sides by 2. So we have x is equal to log base 5 of 95, that whole thing divided by 2. All right, um, one quick tip here, when you're doing this in your calculator, you know, I, I really want you to save the calculator for the very end, right? You should be able to get this first, and then do the calculation at the end. Right? So I would really think about this in your calculator this way. Right? Do the logarithm first and then divide all that by 2. Right? So it's, it's kind of like thinking about it this way. Log base 10 of 95 right? and dividing that by log base 10 of 5. Right? Doing all of that in your calculator first and then dividing all that by 2. Right? And we'll practice some of uh, those calculator skills tomorrow in class as well. Right? But this one, um, when you plug that into your calculator, you should get 1.41. Alright, so we're going to look at some equations now that start off with a log. Okay? So, uh, slightly different, but you're still wanna, you still want to think about your logarithms the same way. Okay? So let's, let's think about this. All right? Our logarithm here is equal to the 5. So what does that mean this 5 is? That means this 5 is the exponent that I need to raise my base of 3 to to get x. Right? This right here is the exponent that I raise my base to to get x. In other words, 3 to, some, 3 to the 5th power would be equal to x. Right? And so this one, this is really simply, we can use a calculator if you don't know that off the top of your head, but 3 to the 5th power is 243. Right? So right there we have our answer. X is equal to 243. All right. Um, you're going to try some of these harder ones as well. Okay? So it's the same basic principle. Right? First, there's a couple things here that are distracting us. Right? This minus 9 and this 4. Let's get rid of those. Isolate this log first. And then you can do the same kind of um, thinking that we did on 5. All right? Go ahead and pause and try this one. All right, let's check how you did. So here, I would add 9 to both sides. Then that gives me 12 equals 4 times the log base 5 of x. All right, we still want to isolate this logarithm. So let's divide both sides by 4. So this would give me 3 is equal to the log base 5 of x. Right, and now we have a pretty simple problem here. Right, this logarithm is equal to 3. That means this 3 is the exponent that I would need to raise my base to of 5 to get x. In other words, 5 to the third power is equal to x. Right, and we know 5 cubed is 125. All right, last one. I would, again, I want you to try and do this one on your own. So go ahead and pause and do this one, please. Now let's, let's take a look, see how successful you are. All right. This time, I have this 3x plus 4 inside parentheses. All right. So uh, that means you cannot, you know, subtract 4 from both sides in the beginning. That's not going to work because this is within the logarithm. All right. So l let's think about, again, what a logarithm means, right? This logarithm is equal to 4.3. 
what does that mean? This 4.3 is our exponent that I need to raise my 2 to to get this, 3x plus 4. In other words, 2 raised to the 4.3 power is equal to 3x plus 4. All right, now this, 2 to the 4.3, that's not going to be a nice, um, a nice answer, but um, not one that we can do in our head real easily. But, so we'll save that calculation for the end. All right, so now let's think about this. How can I get my x to be by itself? Well, I would subtract 4 from both sides. So then I would have 2 to the 4.3 power minus 4 equals 3x. And then again, think, how would I get this x to be by itself? Well, I would need to divide both sides by 3. So we end up with x is equal to 2 to the 4.3 power minus 4 divided by 3. All right? And hopefully you notice here that I didn't start doing any calculations in my calculator. Right? Save all that to the end. Get your x isolated so that you have this expression, and then this right here is what you can plug into your calculator. Okay? Remember when you, use, when you do fractions in your calculator, um, depending on the calculator you use, right, a lot of them you need to make sure you add parentheses. Right? You do this part first, 2 to the 4.3 power minus 4, that whole thing in parentheses, and then divide that by 3. And when you do that in your calculator, you should get 5.23. All right, hopefully you are a lot better at this than when you started this video, and we will continue to practice and get better in class.